Good evening, my dark and lovely souls. My name is Lenny Graves, and I'm a tarot card reader, I'm an astrologer, I'm a psychic medium, I'm a demonologist, I'm a magician. I do many fun things. And tonight, we're using a little bit of that tarot card, we're using a little bit of that psychic, we're using a little bit of that demonology, and we are going to channel a message from your guardian demon. I've done this before on TikTok, I've done this before on Instagram and Facebook in real form, usually a minute or less, maybe to a song sometimes, but this is a deeper diaper Diaper, diaper. It's a deeper diaper. It's a deeper, darker. The spirits are about to try to vex me because I have things to say. A deeper, darker style of reading. Well, it's not really darker. You know, people miscategorize demons a lot because they don't understand the nature of the watchers and they haven't read the book of Enoch and just how sometimes in it demons are for mankind. So we're going to do a longer reading from your guardian demon today. And again, forgive the sunglasses and stuff as the darker spirits are about it. it. messes with the senses and the tone of things. So we're going to keep it real light and level, and we're going to see what the demons have to say. So to do this, I'm going to use a couple different decks, and we're going to pull. First, we're just start with the Occult Tarot deck. This is one of my favorite tarot card decks. It is based on the demons of the Lesser Keys of Solomon, along with a couple others. And... It's a good deck to learn the demons in the Lesser Keys of Solomon. It's good for an aspiring demonologist. But also, it's just fun to read. Now, when I pull a card from here, does that necessarily mean that's the demon that's watching over you right now? No. It's just the demonic energy that's there. It could be. And I'll usually get a vibe real hard that way if it is. But no. no. It's just, just the energy. Just the energy. All right. What do you think? We should do one more? I think we should do one more. Okay. Let's find out what's going on. The demon that is currently with you is a name that I will... It is Dekarabia. Dekarabia? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably saying that wrong. And that demon teaches the virtues of herb stones, makes birds appear and behave as though tame. Knight of Pentacle energy. Now... Is that necessarily the demon that's watching over you? No. The demon that is watching over you, though, is earth-based energy. And it could be that demon. I Again, when I pull from the lesser keys, the occult tarot here, it's just to get more of a vibe. And I pulled pinnacle energy, right? And stones and herbs and stuff like that. So I believe a demon of the earth is with you right now. It's like a gargoyle, right? That's kind of cool. It's like stony or a little troll or something like that. It lives in the... It's not really a troll. That's the best way to put it. That's more of a fairy. But... It's a, it's a demon of the earth. Does that make sense? It's coming up from Hades. And this is good for you because this means that you might have some financial abundance coming your way. You might have some different things that are going to really hit you in the most amazing way. So let's find out. And we're going to do that with the Thoth tarot card deck because I just think it's cooler. It's just fits the vibe of the demonology readings, if you ask me. We might go back to the occult tarot. We might. we got a bunch of tarot card decks. We might use them all. But we're going to see what's up. So let's start with, I don't know, what do you think, my dark and lovely souls? I think three. So we've got sorrow with the three of swords. We have futility. I'm not going to use reversals on this with the seven of swords. And then we have the queen of discs. My dark and lovely souls. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. Has something been vexing you in your life? Do you feel like you maybe have something on you? Like there's a spirit of malice or things maybe just aren't going the way that they should be going. Because here's the vibe I get. I'm pull out my magic pen. It's, that's kind of magic. Um, we've got sorrow. We've got sorrows. This is the three of swords traditionally, right? Three of swords. And remember, the demon that's come up to talk to you, this is why I like guardian demons a little bit more than guardian angels is your guardian angel would be sweet about this. Your guardian demon's not going to be. He's going to come up from the depths and he's going to say, look, man, and that's what's happening here. You got some heartbreak. Someone's going to try to hurt you. Seven of swords and they're lying to you. They're lying to you. We're going to we're gonna get into this right now and we're going to figure this out. But you go, okay, so you got somebody's lying to you and... What I worry about is I have the Queen of Disc here. Queen of Disc is almost a little bit demonic in her energy. Do you see that? 
You see what I'm talking about? With the horns, and the ram, stuff like that. I believe you might be subject to some witchcraft here. So my dark and lovely souls, I'm thinking about two more cards to represent duality. So let's go ahead and shuffle it once though. Let's shuffle it twice because we're going to draw two more. What does our guardian demon in this situation want to know? We know that there is a feminine figure, possibly a witch or a sorceress, who's deceiving you. I am making this up. I love this stuff. I actually do. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit excited about this. Most of the time, my readings are about like, you know, you move on from something or somebody might be cheating on somebody or it's time to move on. Oh, no. Oh, no. You found me for a reason. There's some mystic stuff going on here. There is a deception that's trying to bring your heart vibes down, but we're going to defeat that. We're going to defeat that straight away. I think I already shuffled twice. Let's do Okay. So two more cards. First card I pull, worry. Five of Pentacles. And do you notice too? See the pentagram? See the symbol of Baphomet for the magician? That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I know, guy. It's good. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means a magician at play. But the way that the cards are set up here, and for most people, I don't know what's the next card that we got here. The Lovers. I'm going to ask to clarify the Lovers. Tell me what the lovers means. Ten of Pentacles. If this resonates with anybody out there, please comment to me because this is a very... All right, so this is what your guardian demon is trying to get across, at least at this first part here. This Five of Pentacles is worry. This is also financial, financial. I think it's related to this woman. Now, this is a strange thing. This is a strange thing. This is probably a reading for a girl. If you're a guy watching this, well, I don't presume anybody's sexuality or anything like that, but this is this is a woman right here. This is a woman, or actually, you know what? This could be a reading for a guy too. It's just in a different context is it's more direct, okay? But I, I think that this is a woman here that you know or knows of you and either currently you're in a relationship, which I don't know for the case. Again, this is for a couple different people, but it should resonate really strongly with those people. You're either in a relationship right now, or you were in a relationship that this woman coveted because she saw it as like this happy spiritually growth kind of like home. She wanted it. She wanted your house and your energy. And she decided that, that she wanted it. And now... And, and she would take it. She would take it like on a mystical level almost though. So we're going to pull another card here really quick because I just need to. The priestess, I can't even make that up. She wanted your soul, man. She wanted your energy. She saw your house. She saw the, the vibe that you had from your relationship. She saw all of these things. And again, this could be like, you're, if you're a woman here in this, a traditional relationships, right? If you're a woman here in this, it, this could be like, you were with her, this really man that this other woman just really wanted and she just wanted it bad and she wanted to take that energy and power from you. Or if you were, if you are a guy, this is this woman that really just wanted your energy and power because she wanted it. But it was all based on a deception. And the sad part is, is that I get, hold on. The sad part I get, like the weird part regarding this, and I want to verify this. Yeah, the chariot. Over the top, Knight of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Swords. She, this, this jaded woman, this Queen of Pentacles, right? Sitting on her throne, Dark Queen. Queen of Discs, Queen of Pentacles, right? The one who's causing this deception, this heartbreak on you, the one who's coveting the happiness that she could have either had with you or she saw you have with another person. The sad part is, had she just been honest about it, had she approached you, it wouldn't be the situation that she thought it was with the relationship. Had have you be the guy, you would have probably thought, yeah, you're wonderful. I don't know why you're doing this. But had it just been a more direct, but no, no. Instead, it's turned into this dark energy. 
and your guardian demon wants you to know this. You have someone who is actually using darker arts, a lot of bad energy. It actually could be the reverse of that too, especially because it's dark energy coming up is this person could be real self-righteous in themselves. And this is kind of an unusual thing about manifestation is if a person is very self-righteous and let's say they completely 100% believe in God in the traditional sense, if you want to do that, or it can be really any belief, their own manifest psychicness and ability as a magician will manifest that that way. So they could be praying that you get yours all day, whatever they're doing, and as they're putting this energy in at you and like this person too i also get because of the seven of swords and we got to be careful we're going to look for their identity here is i get the really strong vibe from this person that you know them. like this is this is somebody that like really they they would think that way to me they would do that to me this could be like why would you even think to do that i don't understand it that's that's kind of the vibe if that makes sense I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that too. I want to crack another card. Do we have any know about sign energies going on? What's going on here? Is it earth sign, earth sign, earth demon came to tell you about an earth sign. I just believe that too. Is like if you I know fire sign, I can always get to a fire sign really easy because I have a little fire demon that I'm friends with, and he can jump right into the dream. It's the same thing with the earth. The demons, the different elements can kind of the signs are connected to them. Like demons of air will love Gemini's, Libras, and Aquariuses and stuff like that. Right? Do you get what I'm saying? So this is a demon earth, this queen of pentacles, this earth sign, this Taurus, this Virgo, this Capricorn, I strongly suspect it's Capricorn. Capricorns are natural witches. Capricorns and Scorpios. Capricorns and Scorpios. Uh, it's reading. What else can we find out? Knight of Cups, Three of Swords again. It's three of swords, seven of swords. This was a love thing. This is either, again, if you're a guy out there, and again, this is, I, I hate, I, please don't take me that way. I don't care what orientations and stuff. I just speak traditionally because it's easiest, right? So apply it however you want to. But if you're a guy out there, there was a girl who really, really dug you, right? And she wanted to be with you. She liked what she had, but maybe she wasn't completely happy when she met you or something like that. And it just broke the Knight of Cups energy or didn't work out that way. If you're a girl, there was a relationship and I suspect you might not even be in this relationship anymore. There's a possibility you could be, but there's this outside earth sign woman. It's like, you took my man kind of energy. And the problem is, is this woman is witch. This is like some straight up, like Dorothy Sear on a bicycle and tornado going by witch and she's got like some ill intent on you and your guardian demon's a pretty righteous dude because he must have been chilling out in hades or whatever and he picked up on her dreams or something that's what i'm getting the vibe of and that's why that's why we're here came up this is probably not going to resonate with a lot of people at this point well, a lot of people in the graves is crazy and that might be true but a few people out here this should resonate you should know what the situation is and again this will hit a few people it's a big wide world and there's a lot of different souls but yeah yeah let's see if there's anything else we should be knowing so what i'm we should be knowing what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to use my tarot tarot deck it's just a major arcana instead of the demon deck i want to get some more vibes from your guardian demon this is direct message from guardian demon earth demon earth demon would you be mine sorry i can help it I wish I could sing better. Magicians traditionally can sing. I cannot, but that's all right. I can't play guitar either. We love music. All right, so I'm going to go like this. What does the demon want us to know now? The hermit. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Demon's good. He tells two things because that's, I want to even know. Yeah, with death. Okay. So now we're going to pull three more. Demon and death. And you're like, why are you being so cryptic, Lenny Graves? Why aren't you telling us right now? Because I want to put it all together as a story, okay? Because you need to know what's up here. This is important. Death and the Hermit. Similar characters. In that representation, because I actually, I love that tarot deck so much. That's where my tapestry on the back, and it's death. It's Charon. Sharon. It's Charon, Charon, Charon. I don't know. I was not classically educated. I'm kind of a hillbilly. I just read a lot of books. All right. So I'm going to knock on that. Death. Death. Fucking death's coming out everywhere. Two of Pentacles. 
Knight of Swords. Okay. What I want you to do, my dark and lovely soul, at this point is you're going to strike back. And you're going to now put back to this pinnacle person. You're either, it, and this depends on the nature of the relationship, and you should have a better idea of it. If it's someone attacking your current relationship or just attacking you for a past relationship, you're definitely going to want to do a spell of like return to sender or protection or hex them back. In this case, this person is just attacking you out of spite. If this is a person that was jaded because you weren't exactly what they thought you were going to be, and they're still trying to take your energy or keep you in a place, this, this queen of pentacles, this dark souls, you need to do like a cord cutting ritual, um, which I should offer one of those. I do not. I do offer like protection and hex spells. Those are in my store at the Lenny Graves. And that's not what this is about. You can look those up on Google too. If just, if you're looking for a place or you want to make that easier on yourself, but you need to get this energy. This is what your guardian demon wants you to know. And we need to strike back. I'm going to explain to that why. Because this is, this is fucking with your life. You might not even know it. And you might be like happy right now, but you're not as happy as you would be if this wasn't here. Um, the death the death card, because it's, and it brings balance back with the two of pentacles. But what I think is really, really amazing with this is the knight of swords. Because that to me just says in the cards, good cards. Fuck yeah, with the fool. I'm going to get banned because I swear too much. But, and look, you can see this have these demons in the air with the smoke. Um, you need to, and this is what your guardian demon would say, especially earth based, earth based, right? Coming up from the ground is Hulk smash. You want to strike this person back with your own psychic might because you were minding your own business. You either cut that cord and you leave them on the seventh plane of hell where it's frozen on the mountains, or you strike them back with the curse so great that it'll be like when Achilles drug Hector's body around fucking Troy. The gods will come down and say, hey, man, you should stop for a second and be like, no. No, what you should do though is protect yourself or hex this person back. Um, if you don't know the identity, you can do that and manipulate that with mirrors and stuff like that. But you need to protect yourself mystically here because somebody's trying to take your energy, they're trying to destroy your relationship, they're trying to take your power. It's coming at you one of two ways. Either this is a person who was once enamored with you or really wanted your energy or whatever, and under deception, they are literally taking your energy away from you like a psychic vampire almost, or this person wanted the relationship that you have and has turned that into a petty thing to attack you. Either way, that's not a good person. So you need to defend yourself from that. You need to like cleanse yourself, do the purifications. Like I said, I offer things like that. You didn't have to order one of those things for me. You can find stuff for free on the internet if you have money problems and all that kind of good stuff. That's not what this is about. But this is about getting this energy cleansed off of you. This is what your guardian demon wants you to know. Is your guardian demon going to be fighting this chick off for you? With voila, the three of wands procures the love of women. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. He's going to do his best. But you need to work on your own with this. I like the Wheel of Fortune. And then we're going to do... I don't have any other decks out here. I want one other lake. I want something else. I feel like there's something else I'm missing. These are my astrological dice. So I want to see... If there's something else I'm missing, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius. When you do a spell towards your house, I get a really strong sense from the demon. Or when you're doing a spell, make sure that there's fire and air involved, which can be anything as simple as a black candle burning. It doesn't have to be black. Um, or an incense going, throwing smoke in the air. That will help the demon protect you until you get your spell off. Now, again, guardian demons are weird. Demonic spirits are weird. They're not the enemies of man. They used to be the watchers. Like I said, this demon is a little earth demon that I get the vibe of. And he was down in the caverns of Hades. And he caught the dream of this witch, this dark entity, this sorceress. And she might not be conscious of it. She could just be like a lady, like I said, who's self-righteous in her own psychic power or whatever. But it's definitely causing this deception. It's taking your energy. It's messing your life up. You need to sever this contact. You need to protect yourself from it. 
And but it's okay while you're doing that, your guardian demons out there with the shield is doing his best to try to protect you from this. But you need to sever these ties, you need to do these rituals. Be careful what you wish for, dark and lovely souls. You just might get it. I've been asking for a vibe that I get like a cooler reading for a while now. Because again, most of my readings are just like love, money, things like that. But this is there's some witchcraft, there's some dark spirits at play there, and you need to do something about that. So do something about that. Again, my name is Lenny Graves. Hey, down in the corner, even you can find me here at the Lenny Graves on YouTube and on TikTok. I'm at Dysfunctional Enlightenment on Facebook and Instagram. I also have my store, thelennygraves.com or my website. And I offer classes, books, spells, readings. Just, it's a bizarre, cool magic stuff that you can, well, actually there's just a bunch of, so just check it out. Go check it out. I mean, it's just, it should already be there. Anyway, now I'm teasing. Um, please think about liking and sharing all that kind of stuff. It really supports my channel. I'm trying to grow it, especially on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys and my dark and lovely souls. Me and your garden demon got your back. Go out there in the night and do some cool stuff, some witchcraft. Now I'm going to anticlimatically try. There we go, because I can't see very well. Right there.